While it's definitely not really popular anymore, when I was growing up, alien movies and TV shows were a really big hit because people really like to think about whether or not aliens exist. But even today in the scientific community, it still is a big topic of discussion. And maybe as a Christian, you've wondered, is there life out there? And is this something that Christians should believe in or is it something that we should try to avoid? I recently watched a show on Netflix and one of the concepts in the show was this idea of a dark forest. And this theory or this concept, it's not new, it's not from the show, but the show depicts it. And the theory really is that this universe is so vast that it's like this forest that we can't really see through. Uh, we can't get to the bottom of everything. We can't see every part of this universe. And the reality is there is a lot of alien life out there. And not just that, but there's some alien life that is even hostile. So that if we as human beings were somehow to make our presence known to those other aliens, then we would be annihilated. And so that's a really scary concept. And it got me thinking because I know some people wonder about this idea of are there aliens out there and whether or not there are, should we believe that there are aliens? Is this something as Christians we'd want to take a stance on? Now, scientists have a lot of opinions when it comes to aliens. And that's because according to some scientists, the existence of aliens is very likely because again, this universe is so vast, it's almost infinite, really, at least practically speaking, it's infinite because there's so many galaxies and there's so many solar systems. And so there, there just has to be alien life out there. Well, other scientists actually disagree with that notion because if there were there was alien life, then we would have come across it by now. Uh, we would have in some way, shape or form got some kind of evidence that there's alien life out there. But when we look out there into the universe so far with our limited view, we don't see any such thing. On top of that, some scientists, Christians included, they do the math, they go through the equations. And the summary of all of that is that life is extremely, extremely unlikely. And so for human life to have happened and evolved or whatever the belief might be, on Earth, it is something of a miracle. The interesting thing here is, well, we are talking about creatures that might exist from different worlds. We're not talking about ghosts. We're not talking about vampires. We're not even talking about Greek gods and Marvel superheroes. This is at least something that seems at least somewhat likely, right? That there must be life out there somewhere. I want us to take that thought and I want us to measure it up to scripture and see what scripture says. I want you to think about Genesis 1. Uh, we don't have time to read the entire chapter, but I want you to think about it. And so, you know, it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was over the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And so when you read Genesis 1 and Genesis 2, and really, when you read the entire Bible, there is a sense here that Earth definitely seems to be a main part of the story. And not just Earth, but the humans that God has created on the Earth. And so at least from a, like a philosophical kind of thought experiment angle, uh, it would seem extremely unlikely that God would have also created some other worlds with some other creations there that maybe are also made in the image of God. And when you think of that, it just doesn't seem all that likely. And there's another big reason here that I want us to look at. And if we were to look at this reason, actually, this is the most compelling for me that I don't think that alien life exists out there. And so a big piece here is, well, not only would we have to say that aliens are probably made in the image of God, especially if they are intelligent, um, if they have feelings and emotions and they can laugh, they can experience joy, and so on. Well, likely in that case, if they're that level of life, we'd probably say they must be made in the image of God. This creates a really big problem because if Jesus Christ died for the sins specifically of the world and for human beings, and he became one of us, remember, then two things would have to happen if alien life exists. One, Jesus would have to also go and die for all those other worlds. So millions and millions of worlds, 
Jesus would have to go and die for their sins as well. And if that's true, if, if Jesus needed to go and do that, then we, what we'd have to say about his death here on earth was it wasn't enough for creation. It was only enough for just this one planet. And I simply think that is diminishing the sacrifice of Jesus. It diminishes his work on the cross. And some other considerations and things of note here are the things that happen in Revelation. And so in Revelation, we see the stars falling from the sky and falling upon the earth. Now, of course, we know scientifically, these are probably not going to be actual suns from other solar systems and galaxies that are just all coming towards the earth because we know that would mean the utter destruction of the entire earth. Now we know also that there will be a new earth and there will be a new Jerusalem. And so we know that's coming, but it doesn't seem to be that all the stars of the entire universe will come down crashing on the earth. Well, because I mean, the solar system itself could not handle that. The galaxy itself could probably not handle all those stars coming in and hitting us at once. But I want to just use that as an illustration because from the scripture, we can tell that the other stars seem to have their place and their role. And it doesn't seem to be that these are stars that have solar systems that have people or uh, creatures that inhabit those solar systems. But they really just seem to be part of the tapestry of creation. And then in Revelation 22, we see that God makes the new heaven and the new, the new earth. And actually at that time, there doesn't really seem to be any other stars or any other planets. It just seems to be the new heaven and the new earth. You could make a case that, well, maybe all the other creatures that will be saved by God will end up on this new earth. Maybe it's a really massive, huge new earth that will fit all the people and all the creations. But again, I think that's really a stretch. We're, we're really stretching at that point. The important point for me is really to be able to say that the, the death and resurrection of Jesus happened on earth. He did it while he looked like one of us because he was born as a human and he died as one of us, as a human being. Not as an alien, not as some other kind of life form, not as some kind of I don't know, nebulous cloud monster, okay? Jesus Christ paid the price for our sins here on this earth. And I believe that one sacrifice was not only enough for us here on earth, but that sacrifice, his death, his resurrection, and then his return will be enough to reshape this entire universe as vast as it is. And so for those reasons, I believe the existence of aliens is highly improbable. Now, if we come across alien life forms someday, that are sentient and intelligent, and they seem to be also made in the image of God because they have a lot of similarities to us, then maybe I'd be proven wrong. And I'd be okay with that. It won't shake my personal views. It doesn't change much. I will wonder though, of course, uh, how the death and resurrection of Jesus factors in. That's a really big question mark. But I guess at the end of the day, if aliens were somehow discovered, it wouldn't shake my faith ultimately. I just think as of right now, it's highly improbable and doesn't seem to make sense when we measure that against scripture. And so I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a bit of a fun episode, but also helps you to think through these kinds of issues. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. But that's it for today. God bless you. Love you. Peace.